Hello booktube and welcome to part two of Triple Tag Monday. This time I'm doing the 10 random questions tag uh, created I'm thinking by Bill Ruttenberg and I saw this on um, Shondi Stanfest's channel and Jason of Byways and Bookland. And so I'll link all uh, Jason, Sean and Jason as well as Bill Ruttenberg. And it seems these, uh, all of these random question tags are a result of me resurrecting one of Steve Donahue's um, 28 random questions tag from a few years ago. So, yay the power of tag necromancy. <laughs> okay, so question number one. What's your favorite meal? Ham and cheese omelet with a lot of cheese a lot and i'm pretty damn good at making a ham and cheese omelet with lots of cheese i'm getting really good at it uh number two what is your favorite song at the moment at the moment i'm going to go with gunning down romance by uh savage garden um I've recently uh, listened to both of Savage Garden's CDs. Sadly, they only made two. And I'm just like bowled over by how good they are. It's, they're just amazing. Um, another one would be uh, Darkness by Darren Hayes, who uh, was the lead singer of uh, Savage Garden. Also, the version of um, Into the Unknown sung by... Brandon Yuri of Pinnock at the Disco. Uh, and I think Conqueror by Estelle. It's one of my favorites too. And Queen of Hollywood by The Coors. There are so many. I have, if you had a chance to look at my Amazon music list, playlist, I have 500, almost 550 songs on there. So there's a lot. Um, number three, you're given one butt to bite. Whose do you choose? Now, this question has been a bit controversial. Most people have uh, gone with um, biting of the butt as basically chewing someone out of really... If, you had somebody you did not like or who just really pisses you off and you had the opportunity to just read them the riot act just yeah give them the grandmother and grandfather of all reason you suck speeches um as this but there's another way of interpreting biting of the butt or butt biting um as a form of foreplay and as such, I'm not going to tell you what, what man I want to, whose butt I want to buy. Come on. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> so we're just going to skip that one. Also assuming it's only one man. <laughs> okay, number four. If you could exist in one movie, which movie would you choose? Well, assuming I now have the power to jump into various dimensions, I'm going to go with the MCU because such people exist there. So, yay! I'm now moving into the MCU. Because there's a lot of movies, so I have a lot more room to spread about. And maybe I can get a heroic build as well. <laughs> anyway, um, number five. You are the president, and you get to ban one thing. What do you choose? Well, since it's the MCU and there are no mutants yet, I am going to ban the construction of giant genocidal murder robots. Just, it's not going to happen. No. Um, number six. Do you choose to have the Sorcerer's Stone or Excalibur? What's the Sorcerer's Stone? I mean, there is no such thing as a Sorcerer's Stone. 
I mean, or I mean, is this referring to like the philosopher's stone, the um, item that can basically make lead into gold or other items into whatever it can transmogrify matter into from one form into another? Or I mean, I'm, I could go on to a rant about the change of. Source of Philosopher's Stone to Sorcerer's Stone and Harry the first Harry Potter book, but I'm not going to enjoy both of them. That be so, but I'm going to go with the Sorcerer's Stone anyway because I really would not be able to handle Excalibur. Now, if I were physically fit and actually knew how to swing a sword, I might go with Excalibur, but I'm neither so. I'm going to go with the Sorcerer's Stone, or, well, really Philosopher's Stone. Anyway. And number seven, your death. Who do you choose to bump off? Hmm. Thunderbolt Ross. <laughs> hmm. Or pretty much all everybody in Hydra. Okay, number eight. What indie book deserves worldwide acclaim? It hasn't been written yet. <laughs> I mean, I could go with the, the Sean D. Stanfis, um answer of when I finally get a book written that's fit to publish, my own work, assuming I go indie and in publishing. So I'm kind of going to punt on that. Because I really, I'm not as familiar with indie book, either small press or self-publishing as I would like to be. Uh, number nine, what hidden talent do you have? Apparently, I'm not only an avatar of death, but I can also uh, jump between realities. Um, but beyond superpowers... I'm also increasingly a really good cook. Although I, mean, I haven't really tried really complicated recipes and oftentimes I don't exactly follow the recipes so it's a miracle that they come out as well as they did. Like I did um, red beans and rice a few months ago and we um, switched out several of the recipe of um, the ingredients we didn't use like um, the parsley, I don't know if it was just I don't like parsley or it was just something was off about the parsley so we didn't add that and I, we didn't add um or I didn't add um hot sauce or something there was like two or three ingredients I didn't add that and it had no ill effect it was yeah the red beans and rice was amazing so anyway um number 10 you can resurrect one person, whom do you bring back? Me. If I can travel dimensions, if I am an avatar or somehow have death powers, well, I had a resurrection power too, hey. All great. So I'll resurrect me. <laughs> so that was the um, 10 random questions tag. Uh, quite fun. I really enjoyed doing this. Um, so if you would enjoy doing this tag, um, consider yourselves tagged. Um, yeah. So anyway, BookTube, I will be back here in a few with um, the third tag of Tag Trio Monday. So until then, BookTube, uh, have a great afternoon and stay safe.